Hello everyone, decision fatigue. Maybe you've heard the term in the news because famous individuals like Barack Obama, Mark Zuckerberg, and Steve Jobs mention this as the reason for them wearing virtually the same thing every day. In fact, this type of habitual clothing selection has become more commonplace in Silicon Valley and other influential places. But what exactly is decision fatigue, and why are people wearing the same thing every day? In this video, we will be exploring what decision fatigue is and the best way to combat it. Decision fatigue is the idea that you have a certain limit to the number of decisions you can make in a day, and that as you make more decisions, the worse you get at making decisions. In order to understand decision fatigue, first we must understand ego depletion. Ego depletion is the idea that we have a finite amount of mental energy and that self-control or willpower can use up that energy. Roy Bomeister studied this topic when he made test subjects try to solve an unsolvable puzzle. One of the test groups was made to eat radishes, while the other test group was made to eat chocolate chip cookies, while also both knowing chocolate chip cookies were an option. What he found was that the radish test group quit the unsolvable puzzle faster than the chocolate chip cookie group because they were not allowing their temptations of eating the more delicious option. This is because they were using their mental power to avoid temptation and the energy used doing that wasn't being used for the puzzle. Other studies have shown that it is really purely the number of decisions one makes that alters decision making. For example, in one study it was shown that people were more likely to purchase a selection of jams or chocolates when given fewer options than many options. They were able to come up with a decision when there wasn't a lot of effort needed to make a choice. These customers also proved to be more satisfied with their selections as well. Decision fatigue can make our decision making abilities worse and even make us not want to make decisions altogether. This can be for something as trivial as buying junk food at the grocery store because we have lost all of our energy to not be tempted by it, or it can be for something a lot more important. One study looking at judges granting parole found that, in the morning, judges made more favorable rulings for the people they saw. As the day went on, they made fewer favorable rulings, only seeing a reset of this trend after lunch. This can be attributed to the fact that judges are taxing their mental energy by making several parole decisions throughout the day and, therefore, are relying more on heuristics and are making less nuanced choices. The reset of the favorable ruling trend after lunch can be attributed to the fact that they have just increased their glucose levels from their food and restored energy to the brain. Another study looked at business analysts. Research found that as analysts made more forecasts throughout the day, their forecast accuracy decreased. As analysts grow tired, they increasingly rely on their heuristics to make more autopilot decisions for them, which might impact the accuracy of their models. For both judges and analysts, they've opted to make safer choices when faced with difficult decision making as they grow tired and their mental resources are depleted. Judges didn't let inmates out of jail and analysts relied on their past forecasts to make newer models. However, relying on default thinking might be as bad as just not making any decisions at all. Kind of sounds like lazy thinking if you want to check out my video on cognitive ease. So a lot has been said in this video about the problem of decision fatigue, but how can we solve it? How can we live with this in our lives? Well, if the problem is that making many decisions throughout the day makes our decision making worse, then we should first try to see how to make fewer decisions. This can be done by making habits, for example, choosing to wear a certain outfit on certain days. Or, even more broadly, making routines, like deciding to go to the gym in the morning before work, making dinner right after work, and reading for an hour before bed. Then you won't be constantly wondering and deciding what to do throughout each day. You can also automate some of your processes. In this day and age, we have a lot of technology that can help with that. Instead of trying to remember when you have to pay that credit card or utility bill, set up auto pay so you never have to think about when it's due. Or create lists. This can be done in the morning when everything is fresh in your mind and you haven't made any decisions yet. Make your first decision an important one that'll benefit you later in the day. And lastly, increase glucose. Your brain needs glucose for energy. Supplying it with food is one of the best ways to get some of that decision-making power back. Decision fatigue is something that we all struggle with, but can be solved easily. When researching for this video, I didn't realize how much I could benefit from acknowledging the decision fatigue in my life and implementing some of the solutions in my daily routine. Have you ever noticed that you're decision fatigued? What strategies do you think you can use to help? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.